Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this episode of Rank It, episode 3, we'll be, we will be ranking the um, some albums by either a band or a musician. Quite confusing for me. Is he a musician or is it a band? Is the question basically. And we're going to be ranking Marilyn Manson's album now. I, I probably think he's a musician, but he's in my top 10 favourite bands. So it's kind of hard to think about exactly what it's what, what he is, what he's an artist or a band. But I'm going to just go with. I'm just going to rank them now. And I'm going to start off by saying. With, in case you're not a massive fan, you didn't hear about it. It is a brand new album. It did come out. It is We Are Chaos. It's a brand new, a brand new Marilyn Manson album. It actually came out, and I didn't even know until the day it came out. Came out, I was like, I wanted a new song, so I went review album because I wanted to see the whole thing. And it turned out it was just this whole album on Spotify. It came out that day. I got it on. I got it the next day, and. Yeah, I I enjoyed it. I got the deluxe edition version. It has a gatefold. And, oops, I just dropped the book. Uh, that's kind of a that is not really a book, but actually it's just a really big poster as well. It's it's actually really good. Like, I think I'm gonna show it right now. So on one side you've got more lyrics like the normal book what you get. Now on the other side it's got like this really cool, actually quite disturbing, um poster for the album. I think it's kind of based on the album, so I don't know how I fold it back up, in fact that should just the whole thing fold back up. And the C D comes out either end, which is really cool actually I've and the whole inside, it's got like the whole front inside, it's quite good art, and it has some bonus tracks, because guess what, I was able to get the deluxe edition, huge amount of Manson fan. Now, yeah, so basically the point I'm trying to make is, new Marilyn Manson album out this year, which you can listen to now. So, anyway, I think this is going to be more about my Marilyn Manson album rant. And I've got all my Marilyn Manson CDs there. Also, I've got my live albums and my EPs and that sort of thing. But obviously, you might know, I'm not including them. I don't actually do albums. But number 11, I almost said number 10 because I'm so used to having 10 albums. But no, he's now got 11 studio albums. So number 10 is Eat Me, Drink Me. Now, this album, I just never really got this. It didn't age well on me, I'll be honest. It wasn't my album by him. I just didn't like it too much. I liked if I was your vampire and putting holes in happiness and if there was no one like I don't know. I just this album didn't just just didn't go very well for me. I think that this is an okay album in all, but I just think this album it just wasn't very for me, to be honest, and I'm gonna and I'll be honest there, because it might be an unpopular opinion, so, yeah, and my number, now my number 10 pick is Born Villain. Yeah, once again, it was, didn't age well on me, it kind of just, it was an album that I kind of bought, you know, just for, might be a good album. I thought just could be good, interesting. Whoa! I had no idea the CD case was broken, but I just opened it up and it came out. So yeah, I had no idea my CD case was broken, but yeah. Well, um, don't understand what the CD had to do with the album. Don't, don't know what that has anything to do with the album, but. Anyway, as far as the album goes, it did have a couple of good songs. It's got No Reflection, Pistol Whipped, and I think Hey Cool World is a good way to open up the album because usually you know how people die, they might say goodbye, Cool World, but 
just the opening to the album, so it says, hey, cool world, which I think is a really good way to open up the album, if that's the story behind it. Um, only the Path of Misery was, was meant to be by the ones, and slow motion, it, it's kind of, it's kind of hard, really, to tell what the songs are, because, actually, it's just got the reflection of my tablet I'm recording, which is really annoying, but, yeah, you can see the track list, the words are, like, go, they're going down, so, you can't really see it, but overall, just a normal album for me, and, mm, number eight, wait, oh, I think that actually changed, which is okay. Now I suddenly really like, like that album, uh, Portrait of an American Family. This, now this album, it had two songs on this album that was such a good song, and that's Cake and Sodomy and Lunchbox, because they're good, good songs. But I don't know which one's better, actually, because I'd always just put them on. And I'm like, which one is better? Because, yeah, this album... It never got went too well for me. That was my my number seven pick at first, but there's another album which we'll get to in a second, which really annoyed me because it was my number nine before it released this new album. So it would have been number ten if it was genuinely speaking, but obviously that would be wrong, I think. But yeah, this album it just has loads of good songs on it. It's got a, a lot of my from what I got interested in, and I don't know, I don't know, they're kind of like Dope Hat and Get Your Gun, Get Your Gun is another good one actually, I quite like that one, and Organ Grinder was good, I mean, what, the, I, mean, I don't know what the hell the whole backwards opening was, you can, because whenever you switch on, you can tell the opening is kind of like reversed, anyway, on number seven, I don't, I, I don't even know if this... Hmm. I don't know, I mean, it's kind of hard, but I think number seven... It's kind of like we're in simple album right, right now. Number seven is We Are Chaos, because, I'll be honest, this album isn't there one of its best. I just quite like the album. And... What's on here? The title track is actually really good. I don't even know why, but when I first put it on, I was thinking of the killers. I don't even know why. But, yeah, We Are Chaos, that was a good song. It was the first one we got to hear from the new album. And I remember being really excited about it. I was just like, let's see what this is like. And yeah, it was good. Red, Black and Blue is an amazing song. Honestly, what a fit. It would be like an opening track, like an ending track, a middle of the album track, it would have fit anywhere, but I think it works great as an opening track. Don't Chase the Dead is pretty good, and I've ran one step forward, so there were a lot of singles that they released before the actual album came out. So yeah, oh, oh the booklet's looking out. The, yeah, I really enjoyed loads of this album. Yeah, that's that. Now, number six. Now, I don't know if I've mixed it up or something, but I think we actually have three albums here. But, yeah. Okay, so, number six is. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, so number six. Now, this is a really tough decision because I've got three albums here, right? Actually, you know what? Oh, okay. Mm, okay. Number six is The Pale Emperor. This album I thought was actually quite good. Actually, quite a good album. I like Killing Strangers. Deep Six is my favourite song on here. That's an amazing song. Third Day of a Seven Day Binge. Also, I've only noticed how Third Day of a Seven Day Binge and the opening to Kill for me on Getting Upside Down, which we'll get to in a second. They sound exactly the same. No one's mentioned that in another video of Marilyn Manson. I noticed it, but yeah, this album was quite good. I didn't even like it at first, so... Yeah, number five is Heaven Upside Down. Because, yeah, Heaven Upside Down, this is a great album. Actually, wait, actually, I think I'm going to 
do this one first, and then we'll buy a high end one. It has um, loads of amazing songs on here. It has Devour, which is a good way to open it. It has Pretty as a Nadosa sign, but uh, I don't know. Leave a Scar is, is a great song. I think, but For My Supporters is such a good ballad. And number five, let's just call the song Armageddon, which uh, I'm pretty sure is what he's trying to tell us, but if you can see it very well. Here's what it actually says. Track 5, which I'm pointing at. That's what it actually says. But overall, then, but yeah, we're running to the edge of a world from here. And then songs like Armageddon and Blank and White. Kind of some like heavier songs. Kind of like a ballad album, which I know a lot of people hate it, but in my opinion, in my brain, I'm just if you for your own. And yeah, kind of. Kind of number four, which I might regret later, but it's heaven upside down because this album was really good. Revelation 12 would be a good song. Once again, like red, black, and blue, it probably fit like anywhere on the album. But I think the opening track it does a fine job. Tattooed in Reverse is is a great song. I mean, I gotta say, we know where you live is a good song, and. What else? Satan. I'm pretty sure they were trying to say Satan. They said Satan and Kill For Me. As I mentioned, same opening as Third Day of a Seven Day Binge. Because, yeah, in case you didn't notice that, the, the same, pretty much the same opening. I might be wrong. I might be thinking of the wrong songs, but it was actually what it was like to get. But, yeah, the album looks really good. And, but Kill For Me in other words, it's quite a good song. And number three. Oh, actually, I think I've actually got four albums left somehow. So I think this is actually num number four, maybe, but the one might be one at a time. I don't know. But I have Golden Age of Grotesque. So, yeah, Golden Age of Grotesque. This is a great album. Yeah, this is the new, I think I'm going to call it, this is the new hit for now. And it also has Mob Scene, which is an amazing song. The only weird thing that kind of, there are two songs on here, but almost ruined the album. The first one doesn't, but I think the other one does. Doll Dagger Buzz Buzz, what was it? Like, Doll Dagger Buzz Buzz Ziggity Zag is a weird song. Like, what were they thinking? It's such an odd song. Who who would make which Marilyn Manson would even come up with that idea? Like weird. Number five, which is used off this not your mouth is good, but Golden Age of Grotesque is I thought was a really rubbish song. It just sounds so whiny in it. It's just he's just trying to be so glam in the song, but it's just really not doing it for me. It, it's just really not doing it for me. I mean, I don't know. It has, uh, what was it? Saint. That's really good. One of how the S is in brackets. Number three is The Cancel Animals. Such a good album. Amazing album. I think this is. I think this is such a good album. Yeah, this. It's got the Dope Show on it, which is amazing. Uh, the Great Big White World, that's an amazing song. Title track is okay, but Rock is Dead is amazing. Uh, what was the other one? Coma White, I feel like there was another one on here, but they're my favourites on here. Coma White is a great ballad as well. I don't want the video to get too long, so I'm just going to quickly get to my final two right now. So the final couple. Number two is Antichrist Superstar. Which has Little People on it, which is literally the biggest song ever. And also, Reflecting, Reflecting God. Wow, that is an amazing song. It's just so heavy once it really gets to the point. It just gets so amazingly heavy and irresponsible hate. And wow. A song recorded live. Wow. That is such a good song. And what else? Um, I'm sure there was one more on here. 
Oh yeah, Tall New Camp, that's a really good song. And finally, Hollywood. This is my number one, it's just... It has the fight song on here, that's an amazing song. Um, Disposable Teens is an absolute classic heavy metal song. And Target Audience Narcissus, Narcissus Narcosis, amazing song. And there seems to be a song on here called Lamb of God. Which I don't, I don't know if that was intended because there's already a band called the, the kind of like really heavy thrash metal or black metal band called Lamb of God. I don't know, but nobody's actually my favourite Marilyn Manson song of all time. And also, to say also on here, there's Coma Black <laughs> on here. Like, and there's a bonus track for Nobody's Acoustic Version. I haven't, I haven't actually listened to that, and I'm not my favourite song on the album, but... Yeah, that is the end of my Manson album rant on the series ranking. We'll see you again very soon for another video, and as for now, goodbye.